Today we're going to talk about the oldest living reptiles. What are they? Are they crocs and gators? Nuh uh. Are they snakes? Nope. They're turtles and tortoises. There are four groups of turtles and tortoises. There are box turtles, sea turtles, tortoises, and freshwater turtles. Turtles are very old. So the oldest species of turtle and tortoise are the algebra giant tortoise. They can live more than 200 years. That's a lot of birthdays. Something amazing about turtles is that unlike hermit crabs, and turtles and tortoises' shells are made of bone, just like snails. And the air spine is in the middle of their shell. So if you break a turtle's shell off, you will be breaking one of their bones off. What's the biggest species of turtle? The biggest species of turtle is the leatherback sea turtle. They're also one of the most endangered species of turtle because their main food is jellyfish and people throw pollution like plastic bags in the water that looks like a floating jellyfish. They eat it which poisons it and they wouldn't and they would get very sick and you may even die. And what's the smallest turtle or tortoise? The smallest turtle or tortoise is the bog turtle. These turtles are very rare and people normally don't see them. So next time you see a bog turtle, you should stay around for a while because they're not that dangerous and they're pretty rare. And what's the most ferocious? Well, get this. The most ferocious turtle is actually, his bite force is actually stronger than a lion's. Get this, a lion's. And all turtles and tortoises don't have any teeth, but some do have sharp edges like the alligator snapping turtle, the world's fiercest turtle, and the biggest freshwater river turtle. And what, which turtle and tortoise is the most well adapted to deserts? Say hello to the desert tortoise. Desert tortoise live in the Arizona and North Mexico desert called the Sonoran Desert. These members of the turtle family aren't shy. And unlike some turtles, Tortoises actually eat more of plants than turtles. For example, turtles are, are omnivores and some are even carnivores. When all tortoises are horvivores. And a fun fact about turtles is that they're not only the old, they could be the oldest out of any reptile, but they're also the one of the closest descendants to dinosaurs, as well as crocodilians. And have you guessed what are turtles and tortoises related to? Well, you kind of got the point that turtles and tortoises are closely related but they are closely related also to other members of the reptile family like crocodiles, alligators, tachyteras, lizards, and snakes. And you might be guessing, where do they live? Well, they live about just about anywhere on Earth. From Australia, like the leatherback sea turtle and snake-necked turtle from all the way to the rainforest like big snapping turtles. Anyways, what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Well, turtles, there are two main body shapes. 
the sea turtle with long front flippers and short back flippers and they live in the salt water oceans and there's the tortoises that live mostly on land like deserts and forests and also there are more than sea turtles there are also the box turtles and freshwater turtles freshwater turtles like snapping turtles some of them have sharp hooked beaks like birds and so there are also the box turtles which are some of the only species of animals that can completely go in their shell and you may be wondering how the predators of turtles and tortoises turtles and tortoises predators include many animals, but only a few can break through their shells, like sharks, coyotes, and even fire ants can go through a box turtle's hard shell. And also, sharks do hunt sea turtles, so they're actually one of the main predators, especially to a hawksbow sea turtle. And you, what do you think will win in a battle? The most deadliest animal on earth, the box turtle, or the biggest turtle on earth, the leatherback sea turtle? You may be thinking, no way the turtle's gonna win, the box turtle, but I mean box fit, jellyfish, but remember, that the sea turtle is immune to the venom, just like mola molas, our ocean sunfish. And leatherback sea turtles aren't only immune, but it's their favorite prey. So they wouldn't mind getting a little stung by a brainless, heartless invertebrate. No offense, jellyfish. And tortoises do ooh sometimes eat insects but it's very rare and the desert tortoise are one of the oldest species of animals on earth but even older are the galapagos tortoise they live on the galapagos islands and these tortoise are also one of the biggest tortoise they could be bigger than a lot of stuff and these turtles are so old that they could be older than most humans remember the oldest one was more than 200 years that's old in fact to be exact it was 215 years that was a lot of time these turtles and tortoises have an, the amazing ability in common of their shell. Most reptiles have sharp teeth, venom, are a good way of hunting or protecting themselves to protect themselves. But these turtles are in that category. In fact, they have one of the best defenses with skunks and porcupines. Their defense is to hide their shells in. Well, that goes for turtles and tortoises, at least not the sea turtle. The sea turtle has a different approach. When a, a, uh, when a predator, like a tiger shark, attacks, its sh shell is kind of like a shield. So when it tries to bite, it keeps going off and going off. And it's a very hard shield that protects it. Even though they can't go inside their shell, they're still pretty good at protecting themselves. And uh, here's a question. Which is a turtle? This is a turtle. Even though it doesn't look much like a turtle, sea turtles are related to turtles but it, they do look like 
It should put, be put into their own category, just like legless lizards and snakes are lizards in Tachuteras. They both look the same, but there's a difference. Sea turtles and other turtles have can't go in the shell like we just learned, and have and have a shield shell. But like we all know, they live in saltwater ocean, where no member of the turtle and tortoise family can live except sea turtles. And they're the most and they're some of the most critically endangered animals, from the two olive ridleys to leatherback sea turtles. There's even the hawksbill sea turtle. Sea turtles are just one of the most amazing turtles on earth. And their errands aren't only those turtles. They're in tortoises. They're desert tortoise that live in harsh deserts of Arizona and Mexico. They're painted turtles that live in freshwater rivers and ponds and have a colorful orange or red cheek thing right over here. And there's even the snake necked turtle that has a long neck that lives in Australia. And one of the most famous turtles, even though they're not that famous, people know most about them, the box turtles. People got the idea from those turtle plushes you have from the main turtle species, the box turtles. The eastern box turtle, well, uh, the state reptile of North Carolina, they're really amazing, huh? Even the oaks, their shell is pretty hard. Not all turtles are good luck. For example, in South America, there roams the big cat of the Americas, the jaguar. And jaguars are no good to a turtle because they could break through their shells easily. If you think that's amazing, then why don't you hear about fire ants? They're just little ants. How can they even eat the turtle in the first place? Well, for example, these ants are so small that they could sneak into the shell and eat their um, up. Like... And like that, they also have the stinger in this bay that they have that can make a turtle a little paralyzed and then it eats up. And remember, they have its buddy, their buddies. And remember, they're closely related to bees. So since they're related to bees, they kind of have the temper and anger in them. But turtles aren't ferocious too. In the US in southern west USA there roams in Florida the alligator snapping turtle. Again, one of the fiercest turtles on earth. But if you didn't know this that their bite force, okay, we told you that their bite force is stronger than a lion's, but to be exact, how much? By one, it's more effective by a lot, more than 100 affected. In fact, their bite force is in the thousands when lions bite force is in the hundreds talk about big their bite force is stronger than great whites wolves and you already know the big king of african asia the lions and turtles are very amazing and they Air shells don't aren't the only feature that makes them that. 
their their rareness and endangeredness, and also their diet helps makes them a very awesome animal. And when you subscribe, you can get videos on and on. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.